Telling you about the fresh fallout from House Speaker Nancy Pelosi's trip to Taiwan. Earlier today, China announcing it will suspend climate initiatives and military communications with the U.S. while it launches missiles towards Taiwan. News Nation correspondent Kelly Meyer joining us live from Washington. Kelly, how is the White House responding? Well, the White House called the Chinese ambassador here, telling him his country's actions are unacceptable. And that might be the last conversation at that level. For a while, China suspending not only climate talks, but military communications. Though not all channels are down, the White House saying this is at a crucial time to have these lines open. China retaliating against the United States, breaking off talks on everything from military communications to climate. Today, the White House slamming the decision. It is uh, fundamentally irresponsible uh, what they are doing. This continued fallout after House Speaker Nancy Pelosi made a stop in Taiwan during her tour of Asia this week. Beijing threatening sanctions on Pelosi and her family as tensions escalate. Pelosi today on a stop in Japan claiming China is using her as a cop-out. Chinese made their strikes, uh, probably using our visit as an excuse. Today, a senior Chinese official in Washington saying it's up to the U.S. to solve the crisis. A defiant White House. There's nothing here for the United States to, uh, uh, to rectify. This as China launches missiles near Taiwan and live fire drills, landing in the water surrounding the self-ruled island which Beijing claims as its own. Chinese military's Eastern Theater Command saying all the missiles hit their targets. We have the determination and capability to deal a head-on blow to any enemy that undermines China's reunification and will show no mercy. Nearby Japan calling for immediate cancellation of the drills. As U.S. officials say five Chinese missiles fell within Japan's maritime waters. Two Chinese drones flying close to Okinawa. Japan scrambling fighter jets in response. The U.S. has 24,000 Marines in Okinawa with a total of 55,000 in that country. Around 27,000 service members in South Korea and 6,000 in Guam. This as U.S. warships continue to patrol the waters near Taiwan. The aircraft carrier, the USS Ronald Reagan and her strike force, ordered to stay in position to monitor the situation. And today, the Taiwanese premier is saying that China is, quote, evil neighbor and harming international trade by its military escalation. Natasha. All right, Kelly Meyer, thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.